now, which is basically there to stop or slow those annoying mobs that like to run away from you. And after you slow them, you might as well use a little blade storm action to just go ahead and finish them off. Or you could probably cleave them, because they're probably low enough. Or Thunderclap, which is a new ability that... Not a new ability. It's an old ability, but it's a new ability to Fury Warriors. And holy crap, am I talking too fast. Now this is mainly a talent I would choose if I was going kind of a, a defensive type. You know, trying to get extra... Pick up a little extra defense and various things. Maybe even throw on a few tanking pieces. Uh, just for a little extra easy leveling. But it, it's still good, and it's comparable to the others. Shockwave is a little bit nicer because it does stuns, but it's, it's up to personal choice. But for me, for a Fury Warrior, Bladestorm is where it's at. Moving right along, last, at level 75, we have Mass Spell Reflect. As I said in my arms video, this is the ability I would choose strictly because leveling in a group or mostly you're probably not going to be leveling in a group. So therefore, having an ability that lets you every now and then shoot something back at someone is pretty damn nifty. And, yeah. Moving right along. Oops. Oh, hello, encoder. Thank you for letting me know. Glyphs. Glyph for Bloodthirst seems pretty obvious to me. Uh, any extra healing you can get decreases downtime. Uh... Unending Rage, another one that seems pretty obvious. It's nice to have extra rage, but you might prefer to go with something else. Uh, many things along the lines that you could pick up, including Raging Blow. Mm, maybe not so much. But, but there are some others still. Uh, I do wonder if that might stack with... Probably not. Let's face it, probably doesn't. Um... That might be nice. Um, it cause what? About 30% extra healing whenever you kill someone, so... Yeah, so there's plenty of choices that you can go with, but I think just having the extra rage buildup is nice. And then last is Death From Above, which just mainly gives you more mobility. Especially if you're indoors and you're trying to quest quicker. That said, there's a really, really annoying gnome or goblin right there. So let's move over here. Ah, silence is bliss. So, the things that have changed that Blizzard has decided to let you know. Uh, stances no longer... Uh, stances no longer matter, sort of. Like, okay. So, one thing is, I think they all have a... No, they don't. Okay. So, there's no cooldown. And... You see, you switch on the fly. And stance is no longer, you can see here, Berserking Rage is a reckless combat stance that generates some rage from normal melee attacks and some rage from damage taken. Might be better to use this instead of arm, or battle, excuse me, I'm so used to calling it arm stance, uh, which is an aggressive combo st combat stance, uh, generates high rage from normal melee attacks. And then of course you still have your defense one that does all its cool stuff. Hmm. I guess you don't have to be arms, I mean, uh, prot for it to not let you be... Oh, that's cool. Anyway, so, yeah. Also, you no longer have, as you can tell, your bar no longer changes when you switch. So you don't have to be a certain stance for certain abilities. Uh, rage regeneration has changed, according to them. Rage has generated some through special attacks and consumed by others. Only use Heroic Strike when you have more Rage than you can spend. God damn it, go away, you annoying little pest. Rend. Rend is no longer an ability that you can use. It procs off of various moves, and we will go over those in a minute, but for your... This guy is so damn annoying. But for y... Uh, God damn it. Uh, but... For you just to know, it procs off your Bloodthirst, which is a baseline ability you'll be using a lot. And I'm stuck. Great. Alright, there's no annoying guy down here. Where are these two guys? They're chilling. I think they've been here since BC. Huh. Maybe not. I know, I, oh, that's right. I, 
Hmm, interesting. I might try an AB later. Might try some more air. Anyway, sorry, sorry. I suck at this. Moving on to abilities that you will need to know. We will go, actually, we're going to go over passive abilities first, then we'll go over your other uh, abilities. So first and foremost, let's talk about Blood Surge. This is slightly different than what you might remember. This no longer procs, you so, procs so that you can use your Colossal Smash. Or actually, yeah, it was, was it Colossal Smash or was it Raging Blow? I cannot remember for the life of me. I haven't played Fury in ages. But anyway, your Bloodthirst hits have a 20% chance to lower the global cooldown to one second and reduce the rage cost by 20 for your next three wild strikes. Please note that this gives you three charges of wild strikes and you can hit the button as much as you want and get all three of them off. And they hit pretty damn hard. We'll go over wild strike in a minute though. Bloodthirsty. The chance for bloodthirst to be a critical strike chance, uh, critical strike increases by 10% until it crits. You'll have a little thing here that'll stack up and then it'll crit. Crazed Berserker, you are a master of dual wielding combat and can equip one handed and off hand weapons in your off hand. Your auto attacks do an additional 40% damage and your off hand attacks do an additional 25% damage. Deep Wounds, this is what I was talking about a second ago. This is your rend ability and it procs off a of mortal strike, bloodthirsty, and devastate. Um. Occasionally, I guess you would probably throw out a Mortal Strike, but not too often. Uh, you all know what your Enrage does. It increases your Rage Regeneration by 50% from attacks for 6 seconds. Area of Effect attacks don't give you quite as much. Flurry! 9% chance to get... You all know what that is. I'm not going over that. Your Mastery is the same as before, I believe. Increasing physical damage done by X amount based on your Mastery. Meat Cleaver. Dealing a damage with Whirlwind increases the number of targets that your Raging Blow hits by one... Blah. <laughs> I feel like there should have been more about that. By one. Glunk. This effect stacks three times. Using Raging Blow will consume this effect. Always nifty. Increases your strength by 5%. Of course you know that one. And then you already know what Single-Minded Fury and Titan's Grip are. Single-Minded Fury does, in fact, increase damage done by 25%, and offhand weapon an additional 30%. Pretty nice. I prefer one-handers, but for most demonstrations, I would use two-handers because it's probably the more popular choice. So let's start in reverse chronological or alphabetical order because that's where your new ability is. Wild Strike costs 30 Rage. It is a quick strike with your offhand weapon that deals 220% weapon damage plus X amount and causes mortal wounds. Mortal wounds is your healing debuff. It stops them from getting as much health back from healing. You still have your whirlwind, which causes 85% weapon damage to all enemies in range. You do have thunderclap. I, I said, oh, I don't have enough rage. Well, that's easy to fix. <clears throat> Let's try this again. You do have Thunderclap! And if you spec for it, you get lightning with it. Yay! You do have your Sunder Armor still, in which you can glyph, and you will be able to remove extra, or, or put three stacks up instead of your normal one. Da -da -da -da. You still have your Recklessness, which grants special attacks an additional 50% chance to critically strike for 12 seconds. Always sexy. Probably gonna want that on your bar. Is it on my bar? Yes, it is. Raging Blow, same ability as before. You've always, well, not always, you've had since Kata. Uh, it costs 10 Rage, has a 6 second cooldown, and it's a mighty blow that deals 120% weapon damage with both weapons. And sadly, it can only be used while enraged. You do no longer have your Intercept, but please note you have Charge, as you can see right here, number one for me. And, of course, you can get the various glyphs and such to improve it. I'm pretty sure you noticed when I said the talents that you had it, but, you know. Uh, you do have Intervene, though. You do have your Heroic Throw. Let's see what's something that's actually... Da, 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 die by the Sword. This is a Fury and Arms ability. I talked about it in my Arms talk through 
thing, majigger, whatever. Uh, it's on a two minute cooldown and increases your chance to parry by 100% and reduces damage taken by 20% for 8 seconds. Sadly, as you will know, this used to be passive and it just kind of popped up when it did. And you probably loved it, but guess what? Now you actually have to have some skills, a little bit, and you have to click it before you die. I know guys, it, it hurts, right? So you also have Deadly Calm, which used to, I think, only be arms, but you get it as Fury. And that is, you enter a battle trance, reducing the cost of your next three heroic strikes or cleaves by ten rage. That also means that you'll be putting up a good few rins, or excuse me, deep wounds. Colossal Smash, uh, smashes the target for 175% weapon damage plus 350 at level 85 with the gear that I have, and weakens their defense allowing your attacks to bypass, uh, attacks to entirely bypass 100% of their armor for 6 seconds, causing the physical, oh crap, and causing physical vulnerability effect on the target, bypassing ar less armor on players. I believe it's 50% instead of 100. Also, physical vulnerability is the target takes 4% more damage for 30 seconds. And then, of course, you have your main baseline ability that you'll be using the most, which is your Bloodthirst. This heals you for 1% of your total health. Two if you've glyphed it. And it's an instant attack dealing 75% weapon damage plus 844 at this level, of course, with your main hand weapon and restoring, yeah. Uh, your Bloodthirst does, oh yeah, we already went over that as well, and it generates 5 rage. So it's your main rage ability. So let's go ahead and show off a few abilities real quick, and then I'm going to switch over and I'm going to pick up Dragon Bur or Dragon Breath or whatever. I just want to see if I can get a few things to proc. Come on, come on. Oh, don't feel like it. Okay. I'll just do a little whirlwind. Come on, come on. Yes, I'm clicking. I know, I'm clicking. I'm terrible. Just for the hell of it, there's that. Let's get that up. I want my wild strikes to proc, damn it. You can see, I'm actually rage starved. That's probably because I'm in that, uh... <sighs> if I only had a brain, that might be dangerous. Let's move on. Okay, nothing, no, no. Man, that thing does not probably very often, does it? Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. One more. No. Come on, one more. Come on, I want to show this off, you piece of crap. Let's pretend I just did three of these and they hit really hard and it was amazing. Oh, and the clap. Anyway, you got the clap. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull out the, as soon as I remember the button I'm hitting, let's lose Bro Storm real quick. Because I think this ability is pretty nice, it does hit pretty damn hard. Alright, so, this is Dragon's Roar, a furious roar causing 220,000 damage and knocks all enemies back by 8 yards and knocking them down for 3 seconds. If that wasn't enough, Dragon's Roar is always a critical strike. Always a critical strike. Of course, it is on a minute cooldown. But there you go. 32,000 damage and it would knock them back. That's just... Oh, God. I'm stuck. Inanimate objects. Oh, I can charge through the barrels. That's good, then. Anyway, we are done, folks. I thank you for watching. I encourage you to have a good day. Don't die. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me whore myself out. And yeah, I'm going to have to go through and figure out which characters I haven't done a guide on. And then review and see if Blizzard has changed anything. But I'm probably not going to do any revisits until we're at least able to get to level 90. But that's me done. You son of a bitches. Alright, let's go. Ah, here we go. Look at that. Okay, wasn't that great. But anyway.